Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you differences between Ebatu Elements, Placeit, and also Canva. These are websites where you can easily create content. You can either use it for videos or images, for social media, or for even blog posts, newsletters, posters, and so on. And starting with Embato Elements, I have already talked in another videos. This is a really good tool and platform where you can find thousands of files that you can use for different types of digital projects. You can go from stock video, video templates, music, and so on. The advantages is that, or are that you can actually have plenty of files that you can use for different types of projects from stock images that actually these images are not actually really repeated in Adobe Stock. Some of them are already repeated and some are like more unique to this platform. And also the good thing is that you can use it for any project that you have in mind. You can download any file that you want unlimited times. For example, here on video templates, and if we want to create videos, we can just download and create the license and we can use it for any digital project that we want. And we can use it without worrying about the license as long as we are subscribed. Or even if we can sell the Envato Elements subscription, we can actually already have the license and we won't have any problem of the end file. But if we want to reuse this file, uh, we won't have the license. So, so the main advantage of Envato Elements is that, that you have like plenty of files that you can use for any type of projects. And as difference with Placeit or Canva, actually here you have to download the file and work on your Adobe Illustrator, After Effects, Photoshop, and or even Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve. So it will require a little bit of knowledge or intermediate knowledge, at least of the Creative Cloud from Adobe software so that you can actually work on these files. So this I actually recommended for more, probably not just beginners, but at least have a basic knowledge of how uh, Adobe uh, Adobe software is of how to work with the Adobe software. So basically in Bato Elements is more like to grab files and use them. And in contrast, we have here Placeit. Placeit is basically a similar platform as Canva. Placeit, I do think it's a more rigid platform. You don't, yes, they have plenty of, of these files and templates that you can use. And the good thing is that I, I do think that um, Placeit has more templates in comparison to Canva. But it's, if we go here to a uh, freebie, for example, uh, we can see here the, that there are different templates. But when we go and try to modify one, and I already pre-created one here, um, let's, let's say I just will create one here, this video. And basically it's really rigid. If we want to make some small minor details we, uh, to change it, but if you need some other option, this one actually costs around $90 per year and you can actually use it for any other project that you have. And the good thing is like, they are good, but I still think it's a more rigid structure. And let's play. There we have the sample video and we can just download. And since I had to fast forward, that's another thing I, that's why I don't use place IT even the free. Well, if you pay, of course you have faster 
uh, use user experience here, but uh, using the free place it, it takes time. So once it's downloaded, you can use the file. Have it here. And it's a nice video, but it takes a little bit of time to create it. Or it's actually just changing here and it's a little bit rigid. So if there's some changes that you have to do, then you can actually select here. Since the preset it's already made, then you don't have to do too much about the animation. We also have here in Bato Market and the different marketplaces as I can say, from Embato, where you can have also the access to different graphics. But here you have to pay one by one. I honestly prefer to recommend either Embato Elements or directly Canva instead of buy buying one this. Or if you're going to get one or searching like, for example, for a logo, might be better to hire a, a logo designer. Otherwise, you can get or you might see again this this logo in another place or something similar in case of logos or or even for graphics for any other any other digital project that you might have for example here a truck so honestly for this case and let's let's see like food truck mock-up here And if we go here to might be on graphic templates, of course, there are some totally different. There are not too many options, but here at least you have even more different files. So in that case, In this case, like example, I have found this file. It's really good. It's really nice. Then I will pay for it because otherwise in other in platforms such as Embato Elements, we can see that here there are, are not some of those mockups. They are totally different. But for example, these one are, are nice, but more for different trucks. So here you can actually download the one that you are needing and probably you can keep searching. So in this case, and this is uh, the things with Embato Market and all the different websites that they have. If you have found a very specific file, then go for it. But in other case, try to either probably it would be better to have Embato Elements. And going to Canva, the advantages of Canva is the really user experience that they have. If you need to create some different types of digital projects from Insta Story, Instagram posts, uh, flyers, business cards, and so on. That's a good thing with Canva. If we go here, let's say for, for another uh, video, let's Let's see what they have. They also have the option of creating different type of videos now that it's a good addition to this platform. Let's grab this one and let's say, let's change it to English. And we can just do drones. Let's say and more. Drones, cameras and more. And let's let's say we want to add also the a logo. We can just go here. Search for logo. We can just upload file 
search for the file, upload it, and then we can just add here the logo here up here. And let's say we want to make an animation as well. Until we find one that it's good. Oh, I will keep it also with this one. This is only for the pro version, but also if you want the free version, you you can use actually these ones. And we already can play. And actually it's even faster to work. I do prefer Canva to work because you can have access to different templates. You can actually change, like example, if you want to change the color. Let's say, let's take this blue. And that's a better thing to use Canva and you can just download and have the file. It will take less time in comparison to place it. And if you're going to pay between place it and Canva, I do prefer Canva because you can have even more like, for example, I already showed the, the animations or even if you want to use a photograph, let's look for technology. And there's even more, like for example, we can see here the crown with the pro version. So you can actually use this one as well with videos. We can just already download. And let me, well, we, I will show already the video. And it was a really pretty short video. And if we want to add more, of course, we have to create another. Let's say I like this one. We just set it up. And let's say from this one, I like this. Let's say smart. And we will have the complete video from here. And we have a nice video here. So, and we can just download again. But the thing is that you can actually easily create new different types of videos for social media, or if you can actually mix and you have found, for example, here a stock video. Let's look for technology and let's say this one is good. So we will have to download. Let's use it for here. Canva. Okay. So once it's download, we go back to Canva and upload the file. Okay. So once it's uploaded, you can use the file. So let's go here and just download. We can just here and let's also copy here and let's just and we just have another larger file. And if we want to reduce the time here, because this was lo was longer. Let's say we want this one for three and a half seconds. We can set up here and this one from 24. Of course not. We can just set it also on 3.5. And this one, if we can try to extend it to 3.5. And in case we missed here the animation, we can just use the this one 
and also just to make sure again also here we have it here and we set it oh here okay and show it again We have here the sample video it, it was really fast to do if we want some other tools that's a good thing with canva especially also with canva pro that you have the access to many different other elements that you might need text also if you need the fonts if you need some other special fonts for example that you that this one that have the crown here you can use it with canva pro so to close up this video, I recommend Embato Elements if you're looking to have different files that you can use for different digital projects, place it. I basically don't recommend it. If you're going to have or buy between these two, uh, probably get better Embato Elements. Place it, I find it too rigid to make the modifications. And Canva, I do recommend it also for social media content creators or video creators. It's also really useful. It can help you to create content fast. But of course, as I have seen this Twitter, it's funny because it's true. Working in marketing just means recognizing the same 10 Canva templates and shooter stock images that everybody and their brother uses. And this is all true. So when you're creating on Canva, Try to make some more modifications and be more creative, not just using the templates. I know that it's really useful and comforting. So that's a thing that you can actually mix between these two platforms, Embato Elements and Canva, and trying to be more creative than just using the template. So thanks for watching.